Hello and welcome to another booktube video from me Lauren from Lauren and the Books joined by David from David and his nice pretty face. So if you don't know um, David um, has been trying to read this year how many books David? Ten. Ten books and we've been updating you on his reading as the year's gone by. Hair in my mouth David. My hair. Um, not your hair, one of my hairs. Um, and we did a, we talked about your reading resolutions at the beginning of the year. We did a three month update. We did a six month update. This is the penultimate update. It's the nine month update before the 12 month update is gone. So how many books, another hair in my mouth. How many books have you read so far this year? Seven. Seven. So you're on track. I'm very much So on if track. you can read one, it's September now. So September, yeah. October, November. You might even be able to sneak in one extra little I'm cheeky hoping, guy. I'm hoping to do 12. 12 you're hoping to do 12 so well, i want to you're... do a couple of christmas books i want to reread the christmas Horus again before we go and see it live yeah i want to reread it i might mm. put it in for book club actually is the book club christmas yeah. book um so um we're just going to talk about the books that you've read um since last time and the books yep. that you're reading at the moment and then the books that you're going to read next mm -hmm. um so what have you read since we were last so to you? um i haven't got the book on me because i've just lent it to a pal alex and uh, I read The Impossible Fortress. Now, normally I would insert that book here mm. on your, upon your face. <laughs> there it is. That's there what it is. looks like. And what was The Impossible Fortress about, David? So the Impossible if you don't mind me Fortress asking. followed a group of three friends who uh, was trying to get a Playboy magazine. But obviously they're only youngsters, so they couldn't get it because they're not old enough. And there's a local shop in their small town that they decided to break into. And so it's them just devising up, cooking up a plan set in, the in order 80s. to break in. Set in the 80s. Set in the US. Talks about lots of 80s things, like 80s comics and lots of 80s references. Not quite like Ready Player One references, but um, but lots of music that they talk about. And they talk about lots of uh, Commodores and Ataris. Because actually, um, so the main guy, I've actually forgotten his name, so I do apologise. Him and a girl design a video game to, to try and win like an, um, the and new And it was called The, the Impossible Atari. Fortress, was yeah, it? Yeah, and the video game is called The Impossible Fortress, which you can actually play. play. You, you can, can play go it. to the website and you can play on the game. I haven't had a chance to yet because I, I have tried to get it onto my iPad, but you can't get onto it onto an iPad. So I'm assuming you have to use So you enjoyed Windows this book? Base. Yeah, it was brilliant. Um, 80s based. Good fun, very easy read. It took me a long time. Yeah, you were. Um, your reading hasn't been great, has it? No, it hasn't. And I think it's because I'm in the same boat as you as Love Island. We were in the Love Island up. boat, guys. All, of, uh, all just, aboard the boat to Love Island. Yeah, and then it just took me a long time to get back into swing of things. But then um, cosy reading night. So I was yeah, just over halfway through it, and then cosy reading night, I just smashed through the second Ooh, half. That hair smashed through it as well. Do it again. I just smashed through the second half of it, and it was really good. Yeah. So yeah. your your situation has changed in that you now commute to work and you were sort of hoping yeah. that you would be able to read some books to and from work. Yeah, However, you get travel sick, don't you? Yeah, the old tum tum. The old tum tum. If anyone's got any um, tips, by the way, for people who want to read aboard a coach, yeah. Um, what about the tube? Can you read on the tube? I'm not on the tube long enough to warrant oh. even getting. Yeah, a book so out. you haven't really had much reading time, have you? Maybe you could start reading on your lunches. Yeah, I could yeah. do. So yeah, so David's. A reading situation has changed however you've done very well so how many stars did you give the impossible fortress four four cool yeah. and then the next book you read <laughs> franklin's flying bookshop by jane campbell we read this we aloud know we know jen. <laughs> we know jen um we read this aloud didn't we to we one did. another um we really Beautiful. loved it the illustration's gorgeous but the story is just such fun and oh, it's just, just it's just wonderful um and just Go and buy it. No, uh, nostalgic and lovely, and yeah. about the, the illustrations inclusion are and happiness and friendship, and yeah. very very cute. It's about it's really a nice. um, a dragon here who um, he meets a girl, Franklin. Oh. This is the dragon, Franklin. And oh then, yeah. Because we went to the. Oh, careful with that. That's right. I'll take it off the wrong way. We've got a little badge. We've got as well. David's got a little badge as well. Um, so yeah, it's about Franklin who um, meets Luna and um, Franklin has a bookshop in on his back. It's beautiful. For adults and children alike, we really, really loved yep. this, didn't we? Loved we it. really enjoyed it. So um, this is the other. And how many stars did you give this? Five. I gave this five stars definitely too. This is star. definitely one of the most beautiful and enjoyable pitch books I have ever read. I really, mm -hmm. really love it. So those are the two books that you've read um, since last time yep. that we spoke. What are you reading at the moment? Well, I've just actually started to I've been meaning to get around to it, but I thought in prep for this... 
I'd make a small dent in it, and it's called Amazing, Fantastic, Incredible. So it's the memoirs and like kind of autobiography of Stan Lee. So uh, if you don't know who Stan Lee is, he's the guy who has uh, made all of the Marvel people, so all of the superheroes. This is the man who uh, writes about them. So you've, you've mentioned this. I think you may even have mentioned this in your last video. Oh, I'm going to read this next. I'm going to read this next. You finally got round to reading yeah. it, and how is it? You're it's 28 good. So pages in. So I'm 28 in. pages in, and I'm already very interested by it. I like the whole comic format of it, and um, and because I don't know much about Stanley, apart from that he makes lots of awesome people, but he grew up in a very poverty-stricken house, uh, didn't have uh, didn't have much money, uh, was very poor, and then uh, he went to what? So he started working for a newspaper, and then he went to war, and then he started You're working hiding behind on. This book. Um, on like training videos uh, for the army, and he actually worked with uh, Dr. Seuss. So, how do you feel about the artwork? The artwork is—it's it, cool. it's not my bag of artwork. I like a sort of like muted palette. It's yeah. very—it's it, it's very um, like superhero yeah, comic. Exactly. Yeah, because I'm mean, um, bright and as much as I like the superhero like films and stuff. I've never really read a superhero comic. I think if you're into the superhero comics, just and I also have not read one, just based on the artwork that I've sort of flicked yeah, through and seen, exactly this is very similar. Like. Yeah. So I feel like this would be your bag. But you're you're enjoying it so far. Yeah, and like, I mean, you sort of sat and read for ten minutes. You got through twenty-eight pages. Yeah, so this will I be think done this, soon, this will it? be quite. I can I can. Burn through this pretty quick. Yeah, so you uh, find yeah. it getting around. To yeah, it. I like so it. Yeah, so it's some nice colourful illustrations and stuff. Like, don't get me wrong. I really like stuff like Franklin's Flying Bookshop and stuff like that. But it's good to like read like my first, I suppose, my first proper comic. Mm. Mm. So and then, so that's what you're reading at the moment. And then, what are you planning on reading next? This guy, a boy made of blocks. Bye. Keith Stewart. I really know the name Keith Stewart. I don't, I don't know. know. So no. what does this this is about? So it says here, meet 30-something dad Alex. He loves his wife Jodie, but has forgotten how to show it. He loves his son Sam, but doesn't understand him. Something has to change. Meet eight-year-old Sam, beautiful, surprising, autistic. To him, the world is a puzzle he can't solve on his own. When Sam starts to play Minecraft, it opens up a place where Alex and Sam begin to rediscover both themselves and, and each other. So I'd heard about this yeah. and thought that this would be something you were into. And then you came to me with a list of books and was like, oh, I want to read these books. And this was one of the ones yeah. on it. And you bought this, didn't you, in, yeah, um, just in for Harbour reading, Books? Yeah, just for reading the blurb, it just sounds like my kind of... Because... Like I like things that are based around children. You like, and, and this sounds like you you quite like non fiction, like yeah. real real. And this does sound very. Yeah. Oh, it is. It's inspired by the author's own experiences mm. with his son. So that sounds to me like it's, it's going to be really bag. up your street. Mm. So yeah, I feel like maybe I might even read this afterwards. But um, that's what you're going to be reading yeah, next. I'm so give that a read. so, so that wrong? will be. I don't reckon I'll finish it before Centre Parks, but I reckon I will finish it. Are we going on holiday in the middle of August, uh, October? Parks. August is gone. Yeah. It's gone. Forget about it. Um, and we're going to be reading that, and we're going to be reading then. So um, you're hopefully going to be reading that whilst you're in September uh, in Centre Parks. What mm -hmm. am I talking yeah. about? I keep replacing months with the names of things. Um, so yeah, seven books. You're doing very well. Thank you. Um, and you've only so that means you've got to get three books. So that's two. So if you finish those, you've only got to do one more. And you said you wanted to reread mm. the Christosaurus before Christmas. Yep, definitely. So yeah, hopefully you're doing very well. How is everyone else's reading going? My reading target was 150 books this year. I am currently seven books behind that. Now I'm not feeling too worried about that. I feel like that's something I can definitely manage. Yeah. Um, but. I'm feeling confident. So I've got, I'm seven books behind. That's how many books you've read this year. So if I just oh, took your books, <laughs> then we'll do it. But how's everyone else getting on with their reading? Anything else you want to say, David? Oh, um, there's a book club that I want to join. <laughs> the, that We've was just, it's released. just been announced today, yeah. hasn't it? The Tom Fletcher's uh, book club. So we, we Tom have... Fletcher is the author who wrote Christmas Horus. Um, he's a children's author and he's released a book club with... W. H. Smith, which is a um, book chain in a bookstore chain in the UK, um, and we've just watched the announcement video for Watch it. Watch the he's, announcement yeah, video. Yeah, we'll, I'll link that announcement video down below. So it's, if you've got it's kids, Tom Fletcher, all over. But I've got, I haven't got kids. I've got something in my eye though. I've got no kids, but I've definitely got something in my eye, and I would really like to read all those I'd like books. To read those. I, I feel like if they've been specially selected, because then they must they, be if they've been books. selected by Tom, I kind of feel like me and yeah. Tom would be very good friends if we knew each other in real life, and uh, so I reckon we would share the same kind of bookish things excitement yeah cool so yeah so check that out i'll link the video down below and yeah good luck to david give david words of encouragement and reward for getting this far so far really think i really really want you to do it this year oh, oh sorry. it hurts it was a bit hard on me we're going out for dinner now that's why i've got so much makeup on david's got his marauders map top on i think that's everything else we're just stalling for time now aren't we anything yeah. else you want to do 
What should we sing? What should we sing on the way out? Um, yes, 